Tonight, of course, the start of the Jewish holiday of Passover. Here on Varney and Company, we're bringing you some Judaica. I believe that is the correct expression. That would be Jewish items, items from, uh, come on, help me out, Jonathan. Jewish, Jewish ritual objects, anything that's yes. used during the course of a, a Jewish ritual, any object is known as Judaica. And you brought some objects with you, yes, and you're going to tell me their value in an auction situation. Correct. And I'm again going to be very surprised at how low the price is, and I'll explain why. First of all, you've got a 1750 from the year 1750. Correct. A Passover cup, show us please. Correct. Uh, it's right over here, uh, along with the Passover cup, is a matching Sabbath cup. They were made by uh, Johann Mitnacht in um, Germany, approximately 1740 to 1750. Uh, it's inscribed on it with the um, biblical commandment about observing Passover, and the other cup is inscribed with uh, the biblical commandment to observe the Sabbath. Now that's $35,000 each. each. Correct. Okay, now th that is a price that I can understand. Right. That's, uh, to me, that's a high price. Correct. Uh, clearly of value, but Correct. the historical value and the significance, of course, gives it that value. But what? now, hold on a second. Hold sure. on. Oh, no, I'm sorry to jump in on you. Uh, I want you to move on to what is, I believe it is, a six-piece Seda set? Correct. Where's uh, that? Right in front is a bunch of figures. Each uh, one of them... here? Correct. Okay. Each one of them, uh, you know, a Jewish figure, a Jewish man, a Jewish woman, holding uh, an open basket or a tray. Each one of those is meant to hold the six different food objects uh, that comprise the Seder. Okay, and that's from what year? Uh, approximately 1940, 1930, 1950. From Possibly. Uh, it's unknown. There's only two sets of these. The first one's being sold in a New York auction house for $12,000. That's and the whole set? Correct. Again, now and this I being the find second that set. a low price. I'm sorry, but I do. Theoretically, yes. They're, especially because they're handmade. And you would like to see that price go up, I'm sure? It's significantly. <laughs> I have five kids in private school. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could match that, actually, yeah, but that's sure. another story. A German Seder plate. Where's yeah, that? Right, one? it's right over here. Okay. Um, From what year? This is a, approximately the turn of the century. It's not that old. Maybe about 100, you know, and somewhere between 80 and 120 years old. Um, this one right yeah, here. It's made out of pewter, uh, which is really a tin, a le a tin and lead alloy uh, mixed up sometimes with a little bit of silver. Um, some Jews were very poor and couldn't afford silver, so they would use this very, very cheap, malleable metal to make it. So they took a regular dinner dish, and they engraved it with the order of the Seder, as well as some decorations in it. This decoration is the Four Sons. And that would have been used on, on Passover? That's correct. This would have actually been used. This had the same purpose as the six little guys in the front of it. Okay. It's just a, a, you know, a different, uh, different style. Four to six thousand dollars for yeah, the Seder plate? Yeah, that's what that would go for. Um, Again? Yeah. A pewter is not, is not a very attractive metal. Well, wait, wait a second. Yeah. That's the intrinsic value of the metal that Cor gives it its value as Correct. opposed to the historical significance. Correct. But because it was pewter, there was a lot of them. Had this been silver, not everybody could afford it. There maybe have been 100 or 200 to survive throughout the years and throughout the Holocaust and throughout Jew Jewish immigration to America over 250 years. But everybody was able to afford, afford pewter, so there were just tons of them made. Are these, are these up for a special auction? Or are they, no, they're, they're in the gallery. I you know, yeah. In your gallery, yeah, they're, they're in the gallery. At any one time. Yeah, in Cedarhurst, they, they are for sale. Uh, if they don't get sold before, and they probably will wind up in the June auction. Uh, but uh, for the most part, they're on display at the auction. Jonathan, I'd like to know, have we generated any sales for you? Because you've been on this program, I think this is your third appearance. The second appearance. Second appearance. Uh, uh, you're no, counting. No, but you, you've made... Uh, no, I've not generated sales? No, but you've made my wife and my children very proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> Which has more of an intrinsic value than anything else. Jonathan Greenstein. Yes. Greenstein, Greenstein. Greenstein. Greenstein? Yeah. Always a pleasure. I hope you'll come back. Always, always, always. Always want to make your children and your uh, wife proud. Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, I believe, is next. Oh, you're on. Got it. <laughs> Thank we'll you, find John. the cup. All right, now down.